Well, right now, many farmers in the valley are trying to figure out a way to recoup their losses. We learned a disease named black rot is invading the valley. Our Channel 5's Trace and Bragg found out this is all due to the weather. The Edinburgh farmer we spoke to says nothing you can do will win against an unusually warm season. Tommy Hanka has been farming in the Rio Grande Valley since 1995. He owns a company called Tommy Hanka Farms in Edinburgh. He has a thousand acres of farmland. He grows cabbage as well as other cool season vegetables. He says the record heat the valley has been experiencing is terrible news for farmers. Well, it affected me on my green cabbage and red cabbage. I had some black rot issues and I ended up plowing under over 75% of it this year. Uh, it was just not marketable. It was, a, it was a real disaster, a real train wreck this year. Henka says when farmers have a bad growing season, it doesn't only hurt the farmer. The local economy is hurt as well. The box companies don't get paid. The trucking companies, there, there's no product to move. The, the produce brokers, there's no produce to sell. We just can't employ these guys because there, there's just simply no work. Juan Anciso, a professor and extension vegetable specialist at Texas A&M AgriLife, says Hanka wasn't the only farmer to see a big loss this growing season. He says there was about 3,000 acres of cabbage planted this season in the valley. Half of that cabbage was lost thanks to the unusually warm weather that led to black rot. Warm weather, for example, for bacteria, it increases their, their, their reproduction rate so you have more bacteria. And we've had a serious problem with black rot which is a bacterial pathogen in cabbage. It's been a disease that's been around since cabbage has been around, but we haven't had these problems since the 1980s with this particular disease. And CISO says black rot enters through the leaves and leads to the death of the cabbage leaves. That causes the leaves to turn black and brown, making the cabbage unsellable. Hanka says though the season was extremely tough, he's not giving up. Let's move on. We're going to stick to the game plan. We're going to do the same thing next year that we did this year. We're going to be here next year and it's going to be a lot funner next year. It's only going to get better. And CISO says Texas AgriLife will continue to look for black rot resistant strains of cabbage. He says once they find that strain, farmers will be better equipped to turn a profit during unusually warm seasons. In the studio, Trace and Bragg, Channel 5 News at 6.